Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how to create a photo frame. I'm going to open the file that I'm going to use for the creation of the frame. Right here, as you can see, I have the grid enabled um, because this will help me for the creation. So if it's disabled, you can enable it by clicking on view, then show and grid here. That's all you need to do. Um, so file new, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it Fairmont frame. It's going to be 1200 width to 1800 height and 300 DPI. Uh, this is very important when you're printing, so the resolution has to be 300. Um, background transparent and click OK. So right now we're going to use elements um, of this file here. So basically uh, the logo is of interest for us, so you can select the select tool. Um, going to select this one, this right here, okay, and control C, to copy, and control V in my frame file, and I'm going to do this twice, so you can see I've, I've pasted it twice, so the first layer to select it, you need to um, press control plus T, and then you can place it somewhere else. So I'm going to place it here and do the same thing. So now you press enter and then go select the first layer, control T and do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm doing this twice uh, because the BMP printer cuts uh, the photo in half that's why uh, for the template you must always create it in uh, 1200 to 1800 and uh, do the exact same thing at both sizes because um, the printer cuts it in half uh, now let's just select this color right here because there's a light fade in the color so this is here is another color than here so that's why I select this one at the top then I'm going to select the remaining transparent part the pocket here and like this now it's in one color and then with the select tool here I'm going to cut out um, the the places where the photo taken by the photo boot needs to come so right here now let's say I'm going to make uh, six on six like this now when you press delete you can see this here is transparent that's exactly what we're looking for making it transparent okay we do the same thing here delete and now four down, four rectangles down. I'm going to do another cutout, 66, delete. And same here, delete. And why did I leave the space? Because we're going to select the writing tool and start from here writing happy oh color is still needs to be adjusted to something that shows on the pink so let's put it in black happy valentines and then it's day okay when you press control you can change this put it in the middle like 
is perfect and I select the select tool okay now um, we need this at the other side again so I'm going to click right on the layer with uh, the text and duplicate layer okay now again control T to select it and slide it over to the other side okay looks good and now all we have to do is save this file into the folder so I created a folder named frames Fairmont frame you can also save the Photoshop files so the PSD file um, this is interesting if you want to create a frame that for example let's say uh, I'm first going to save it as a PNG PNG so this is the file uh, type that you need for the social box software so always be sure to select PNG save okay and so what I was telling about the PSD file is that when you open the PSD again in Photoshop you have all the layers still uh, here so basically if you want to uh, change the text for example by saving the PSD file you can then just select the happy Valentine's Day layer um, click on the T here and then it's this one and then you can just uh, change this by whatever you want if you want to say happy birthday then you can change uh, the frame message uh, easily and don't have to recreate uh, the whole frame uh, as we did um, and then if you want to um, make sure that the photo boot photos come exactly in those in this these areas you have to use the frame editor tool so this is a little software that's available um, when you purchase photo boot uh, at snapcom engineering so um, there's another video on youtube explaining how to use the frame editor so have a look